So friends, I'm driving on Chapman Highway, which is between Knoxville downtown and Sevierville, somewhere in that neighborhood. So if you stay straight where I'm going, you go to Sevierville. Behind me, you go to downtown Knoxville. In fact, you drive right by the Sun Sphere to get on this road. Something interesting that's down here that I have never seen in person before, but I've heard about, is like a fairy village or a gnome village. So we're going to go down here and take a look-see. I'm going to turn left on Nixon Road Southeast, and we're going to go up and see what this place looks like. Stay tuned. To pass ye old steakhouse on your left. I'm surprised that there's no signs out here, unless there's another way to get here. But this is Nixon Road Southeast. And it says it's one mile up here. On Sevierville Pike. very pretty and they have it where you can walk down there whatever this is we got a food truck there I think that said ancient lore so maybe that's the the entrance so let's go around and take a look see I think that food truck said ancient lore. Yep. This is ancient lore road, so I came up the back way, clearly. So straight ahead check in, axe and archery, elf, tree elf nest. So let's just go up here and see what this is all about. So friends, this is Willow's Landing, guest registration and gift shop, 550 Ancient Laurel Way. We're gonna go in here and see if it's okay if we look around a little bit. But first, let's look over here. Look at this. You can hear the waterfall, it sounds awesome. So friends, the way I got here when I was driving is right there where that car's going. And I didn't even look to this side because I was looking down there. But right over here, they have a beautiful waterfall. And the village that you can actually stay in is right there. Look at that. Those are roots. Look at this waterfall. You can actually stay in these cottages, little fairy college cottages. And there's different size ones. And they're all booked up. So you've got to book ahead. And they also have archery and axe throwing. It's got all kinds of stuff. Really, really cool place. They also have all that down there so you can go across here go down the steps and go down into there. Fish, I would assume. The cottages that we just saw. We are over here. There's the waterfall. You can hang out here, walk down in here, rent the cottages. And they have all kinds of other stuff too, including archery and axe throw, which we'll go check out. It's like a really cool place. Like no other place on earth. It says it right there in the advertising. Our feet back towards the village, it seems a little bit weird. 
uh, but it's a lot easier to draw across your body with your back muscles than it is to stand straight at the target and try to pull to your face with just your bicep. Uh, from there, we're going to bring our left arm up to eye level, draw all the way back to the corner of our mouth, and then I tell everybody from that point, you're basically just dropping a cup on purpose. The gist is that you want this string to leave your hand as fast as possible. Uh, from there, you're ready to shoot. Bonner, I should do most of the work for you. Uh, so feet to the village, left arm to eye level, back to the corner of the mouth, and then just drop that cut. I always miss my first shot on purpose just to give people some confidence out here. Something like that. Um, you guys are going to start with three arrows in each box. Just communicate with each other on how many arrows you have and don't have because we don't want somebody running out to grab an arrow while other people are still shooting. Um, other than that, anybody can call clear. Just make sure everybody's out of arrows, please. Um, everybody can go down, grab their arrows, come back and start shooting. I'm going to take you guys over to the axe side as well. There's not too many of you, so I'm not going to force you to do 30 minutes of one and force you to do 30 minutes of the other. You guys can bounce back and forth however you feel. Um, so we'll take you over there, and then you guys can start wherever you'd like. Uh, we like to throw two ways around here, either two-handed or one-handed. Please don't try anything between the legs, behind the back, stuff like that. We used to not have to say that, and now we do. Uh, um, if you're throwing with two hands, you can line your knuckles up, almost like you're swinging a baseball bat. And then we like to put our thumbs on the back for some stability, because generally you want the axe to fly as straight as possible, and then land in one of the points of the blade. Um, from there, my biggest tip is to keep the blade of the axe in line with your nose the entire time if you're throwing with two hands. Uh, so straight up and down, almost like you're chopping firewood, but you're just letting it go in front of your face. Uh, I start a little bit back just to gain some momentum. If you guys want to stand on the line and just kind of throw with your body, you're more than welcome to. But I just take two little steps and then go straight over the top and straight back down. When you're grabbing the axe, try not to grab it from up here because it's like impossible to get. Just grab it from the handle and lift up. With some leverage, it should come right out. If you're throwing with one hand, it's a little bit harder because we tend to come across our bodies a lot. Um, just try to stay basically right above your ear. You still want that axe to fly as straight as possible. But other than that, you can kind of just step into it and throw it like a baseball and miss like that. So on that one, it kind of hit like the full surface of the blade. Um, so on those, you can kind of take a step back or a step forward. It just needs to catch one of those points if it really wants to stay. Um, other than that, you guys are good to go. There's five lanes over here and four lanes on archery. So you guys can start wherever you like. Harder than it looks. And remember, for momentum, he, he stepped forward. He took two steps as he threw.
things are heavy, aren't they? Yeah, that's a hit. There you go. That was a hit. Here's horseshoes. They do hand grenades over there. Somebody broke their lucky horseshoe. Look at that. So I'm going to see. Try my luck at throwing some horseshoes. They're hot. So we're going to go back down there to the village. Stay tuned. So this is the restroom facilities out here. And then there's the little houses. I'm going to run in the restroom and then we'll walk down through there. Stay tuned. Alright, so let's walk down into the village. Take a little look-see. Over here they have Games. You can see, was that like a giant Connect Four? They have, um, heck, I can't even think of what you call those. Uh, cornhole. 
They have cornhole. Looks like they have a place for food down here. A place for beverages. But look at this. Isn't this amazing looking? Look at that. These are all hotel rooms. You can actually come stay here. They're all booked up right now. So I can't actually get in one to show you. But I'll show you some still pictures from the inside. Isn't that pretty cool? I think it's really, really neat. And they have facilities out here to have weddings. A little bit of everything. There's also seating up here. And that may be a restaurant of some sort right there. This is one of the five women then. And they're saying this is the restroom. But I think you have to have a code to go in. We can look through the window. Yeah, this has, this is like a meeting room. So this gives you an idea of what they would look like inside. Look at that fireplace. There's a restroom in here. Really nice. So if you were having a wedding, gathering, whatever you were planning, this would be a real cool place. Another cool thing they have over here is, I didn't recognize, I didn't realize what it was, but when I was showing you that water across the road, when I drove in, I drove on a little road right here. There's a bucket out there in the middle of the water. You can hit golf balls from here. So you can get balls right here in a bucket and stand here and tee them up and try to get it in the bucket down there. It's pretty good ways out there too. And look, I don't see any golf balls laying around down there. So it must be pretty hard. I bet you there's all kinds of balls down in here. <laughs> Funny. Yep, really neat place. Bokey's Golf Challenge. Have fun, win prizes. Three balls, $5, six balls, $9. Purchase golf balls at the bar. Hit within the red circle, win one night stay in the king dwelling. Hit the green anywhere, win one complimentary ticket to a signature event. Do not hit balls when vehicles are on the road. So they're saying on the green, which is out there anywhere, but if you can get it in the bucket, you can win, I think, to stay in there. And that is the, the king room right there to Mac Daddy. Before you go, take a piece of ancient Lower Village home with you. Willow's Landing gift shop overlooks the waterfall and is there you'll discover curated local art, literature, and culinary gifts. Willow's Landing gift shop. Really neat place, friends. I recommend you come stay here and have a good time. Live in little village like gnomes, roaming gnomes. So this place right here is the Mac Daddy. I think it may be, I don't know, but I know there's one of these is really large and I would figure it would be this one. It's built right on the side of the hill. Very neat. Let's go up there and see what that is. Stay tuned. Meh. Meh. 
sound of a billy goat. Got this little area here. Private parties, weddings, etc., etc. Right here. At night, they light all this up. This boulder's hideaway. They light all this up, and it's just a cool place to hang out. Nice, cool breeze out here. In the mountains of Tennessee, look out there. This is real close to Sevierville at Pigeon Forge and Gatlinburg. Real close. Highly recommended, friend. Highly recommended. They keep refreshments up here. Really, really nice people. I highly recommend coming here, staying, or if nothing else, just do some axe throwing and some archery. It's a lot of fun. It's a beautiful, awesome place. Yes, it is. So, friends, make sure you come check this place out. It's really cool. It is not far from Sevierville or from... And that right there is a problem. I'm going to wait for the gate to open. But it is not far from Sevierville, nor is it far from Knoxville. It's a, about halfway between on the highway, so it's not hard to get to at all. And it's a really cool place. Yes, it is. And if you're new to this channel, Adventures of the Spy Guy, I have more than 600 Elvis videos. And don't forget to check out my sidekick, Globetrotting with Trey. He has over 150. And we both focus on true Elvis stories and what really happened. So if you want to support this effort, make sure that you subscribe, like, and then join. That helps us to get more videos out there. Yes, it does.